As the COVID-19 pandemic rippled across the United States, staff, faculty, and students alike were sent home from their in-person learning environments with little preparation to continue the semester. ECMC Foundation took swift action and created its first rapid response small grants program. In just two weeks after launching, ECMC Foundation dispersed $583,850 to 65 organizations, which reach a total of 4.2 million students. Most grants were $10,000. So their outreach was based completely on trust. They knew we were already committed to our students. They knew we were already committed to our community. So they reached out and said, we know you're in the middle of this crisis, so what else can we do to help? At Northern New Mexico College, 91% of the students are people of color. The college serves a rural population. 48% of the homes here in our county do not have access to internet. And many of our students only had access to a phone, no laptop, no tablet. Their rapid response small grants funding contributed to the cost of 112 Chromebooks to lend free of cost to students. The grant freed up funds for the team to use for other pressing student needs. The needs listed in grantee applications gave us a window into the significant challenges faced by organizations and institutions serving students. Grant funds went toward IT upgrades for students and staff, direct financial assistance to students, support for events that were canceled or moved online, online content creation, and additional staffing capacity. For under-resourced institutions, $10,000 is huge. It can be exactly what we need to take an issue from the margins to the mainstream. John Jay College of Criminal Justice in New York City was at the epicenter of the pandemic. The college estimates that one in three of their students are essential workers serving New York City on the front lines. Students have been keeping the city functional and safe as EMTs, healthcare professionals, food and delivery service staff, retail workers, police officers, and firefighters. Many sacrifice their academic momentum in service to the public. The Rapid Response Small Grants Funding will support no-cost summer courses for 25 of these students to make up for lost time in the classroom and regain academic momentum. The grant sparked a campus-wide action that resulted in finding funding to enable more students to take summer courses. College Success Foundation inspires underserved, low-income students to finish high school, graduate from college, and succeed in life. Because advisors normally work with technology and IT equipment supplied by the schools, our efforts were initially hampered by the lack of technology and equipment for them. They use their rapid response small grants funds to purchase new laptops so their advisors could continue supporting students effectively while working at home. I just wanted to say thank you for my new Dell computer. It's made uh, my job with the students a lot smoother. I'm able to have um, video chats with them. The pandemic also highlighted specific populations who are uniquely at risk during this crisis. The Tennessee Higher Education in Prison Initiative, or THEI, brings college access to incarcerated individuals in Tennessee. According to a recent comprehensive study by RAND, incarcerated individuals who participate in higher education prison programs are half as likely to return to prison. I've always understood the role of a community-based organization to be to hollow itself out, listen and reflect back the needs of of its community. We really have to address the foundations that are one, possibly cracking for those who have been recently released and are encountering these struggles. And two, we really have to address the struggles that those who haven't built that foundation yet will encounter when they walk out. The team already put their rapid response small grants funds to use, helping to hire a full-time re-entry coordinator. Their new staff member provides more robust wraparound supports to help alumni navigate the job market and their successful re-entry into society. I'm actually a graduate of an inside program. I received my bachelor's degree while I personally was incarcerated. Through this, through my position, thankfully, I'm the person that's able to kind of bring this to them and maybe help them along a little further. As the crisis continues to unfold, ECMC Foundation is committed to prioritizing the needs of underserved students and the organizations that support them.